I am thrilled to be here and be part of uh, the exciting uh, work of SEPA. And as the dean just said, uh, there is such an enormous interest in uh, making sure that scholarship and uh, research scholars and practitioners uh, really do come together in ways that will enhance uh, each of their uh, individual works and collectively uh, give us the kind of guidance that we uh, certainly need today. I never had the privilege of being a student or a colleague of uh, Dr. Jervis, Bob Jervis, but I've read uh, his work. I followed his career, especially in intelligence, and I appreciated his very honest uh, report coming out of the Iraq War and weapons of mass destruction, something that uh, I had a personal interest uh, in. And his legacy and the great announcement that Karen just made <clears throat> about renaming the forum is especially uh, important today because his insights and his guidance about the intersection of psychological and personal um, attitudes and characteristics and perceptions and misperceptions um, in the midst of all of the other pressures uh, and context of uh, uh, the complexity of relations among states is one that has made a huge difference and certainly affected my own thinking as a senator and secretary of state. I'm excited, too, to be part of the plans that Karen has. Uh, she is like the original Energizer Bunny, I'm just going to tell you. I mean, I think I have energy, but nothing compared to her. Uh, but the ideas that she's bringing to the deanship, building on the work that so many of you have done here at SEPA for so many years, uh, I think are exactly the right ones for this time. We have to engage students, and not just the extraordinary international students who come to SEPA in studying uh, international uh, affairs and policies, but we have to engage American students. We have to figure out how we're going to attract students, not just to SEPA, <clears throat> but to the kinds of offerings that SEPA can make to students across campus. So when we began talking about teaching a class together in the fall, uh, and Karen said, well, what do you think about opening it up to all of the students? I said, well, I don't know. I guess that sounds like a good idea. I have no idea if that's a good idea. <laughs> but we're about to find out. And I, for one, am uh, really looking forward to it. And finally, I just want to say a word about um, First, uh, President Bollinger, who uh, made the case for me to come to Columbia um, over the last several years, and I'm very grateful that you did, Lee, uh, and uh, to former colleagues that I had the great privilege of working with, uh, like Jack uh, Liu, who uh, was my deputy uh, in the State Department, and the Director of National Intelligence, who you're going to hear from uh, right now, who was an extraordinary uh, staff member of the National Security Council uh, when I was Secretary of State in the Obama administration. I was so privileged to work with people of this caliber um, who care so deeply about not only our country and our security, but about the kind of world that we're going to leave to our children and our grandchildren. And so it's a great privilege to me, to me now to be part of uh, SEPA, to be a professor of practice. I didn't even know what that was, but I'm <laughs> learning. Um, I'm practicing a lot and, uh, <laughs> and looking forward to working with many of you um, as we you know, march behind uh, the dean and uh, do everything we can to lift up uh, the great work that has gone on here and is continuing. Thank you all very much.